This is Marcos here with Gary Shaw. Gary, last weekend, um, Kimbo Slice got cut by the UFC. What do you feel about that situation? I think the UFC made a huge mistake. Um, once again, Dana's ego has probably gotten in the way. Um, I think Kimbo Slice could be a draw wherever he goes around the world. I think they matched him up wrong. I would have put him in against just stand-up fighters. I would have built to a pay-per-view with James Tony. So, you know, my way of my way of doing business is obviously different than Dana's in the UFC. I don't knock them. They got a great product. They make a ton of money. So God bless them. But I sure wouldn't have promoted Kimbo Slice and you know like they did. And I hope Kimbo comes around and gets in a boxing ring with me. Now we'll touch on James Tony in one second. I want to see how do you feel business philosophy wise um, the UFC and Dana White act cutting fighters like that just so quickly. Well, I, look, I don't believe in it. I, I believe in loyalty. If you're going to ask for loyalty from your fighters, you need to give them loyalty. So to have two fights and cut them, I, I don't get it. Plus, he is a star. I mean, when he walks in a room, he captivates the room. James Tony, Randy Couture, do you think it's a good idea for James Tony even crossing over in the MMA? Hey, look, I don't, I don't plan anybody's life out. If James wants a, and I like James a lot, if he wants to try MMA, then God bless him. But he needs to be in against the Kimbo Slices, the guys where he stands, and he uses his skill as a boxer. He's, he's way too old to develop all the skills of these real good MMA guys. Impossible.